Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day 23, day 23 of center. And today is following on from this theme of the, the leg lengthening side body that we've been doing kind of Friday, Saturday, and again on Monday, maybe a little bit on yeah, on Sunday yum as well. And so start off on in a child's pose and we shall go from there. Great, come, come, come. So resting into your child's pose, your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the floor, and depending on how far your bum is, will that'll be really dictated to you by your knees and your spine. So listen to your body and just sit back in whatever way feels comfortable to you. And often I think yoga is this very delicate balance, you know, of things that are restricted, but need to move so that in the future there is more motion and more mobility and the pace we go at. So you go too strongly, then it's hard to turn up and do your yoga tomorrow. Whereas if you go really steadily, really slowly, very incrementally and systematically where you turn up every day and just meet things and challenge things gently amazing things happen so as you sit your bum back towards your heels as you wiggle yourself down a little bit more really just pat yourself on the back because you're more you're able to <laughs> sorry that was funnier in my head than it was out loud um yeah, and just know that you're turning up, you're doing this, you're here. Isn't that awesome? So just wiggle your belly from side to side. So we're changing the direction and the, maybe is the force, the sense of weight. You're changing your weight from side to side. I'm kind of leaning my belly ribs one way, leaning my belly ribs the other way. So as you move, which of your centers is the most involved in this movement? Is it your belly? Is it your heart? Or is it your head? And then notice how all of them are involved, but which one is the most involved? And for me, that would be belly, but it's very, the heart is really doing stuff too. It's like my diaphragm is really engaged with this movement. <laughs> nice. Come all the way forward, hands and knees, and just do your coordination. And again, just work out through sensation, which of your centers, head, heart, or belly, is more engaged in the effort of this. The other two are just following, whereas there's one that's really active. So now, as I listen, it's moved more up into my heart, up into my chest. I feel that in the side bending, but it's very much in the belly too. So maybe it's in two centers as I do this. Now begin to look back over your shoulder. And now that we've included the head in the movement, I still feel it more in the belly. And still feel it more in the chest. Notice for you as you travel from side over to the other side, how do you feel this in your body? Nice. So last week we were doing this movement. So if you need stuff underneath your knees, put stuff underneath your knees. Okay. So a blanket, roll up your yoga mat, uh, those little amazing knee pad things. Um, so on your hands and knees, bring your right foot out to the side. So my right foot is out, but my knees are still together. And now roll that right foot. So it comes to flat. So my leg is now at a 90 degree angle kind of, and then sit your bum back. Drop your knee down, let your thighs touch, and then rock your bum back. So it's like your knee rolls in, knees together, feet apart, and then sit your bum back, knees together, foot out, sit your bum back, knee together, bum out. No, bum back. <laughs> nice, other side. Both feet together, both knees together. And then step your left foot out to the side and then spiral your foot, sit your bum back, drop your knee down, knees together, sit your bum back, 
Sit your knees together. Sit your bum back. Knees together. One more time. Sit your bum back. Knees together. So I'm going to be long on my mat because we're going to need the length of our mat to do this. So on your hands and knees, bring your right foot wide. Turn your right foot so that you spiral, sit your bum back. Okay, this is what we were doing just a moment ago. Drop your knee down. And now lengthen your left leg and bring your left hand to your hip and be sideways. But my right foot hasn't moved. My right foot is still in the same place. I wonder what's happening out there in the land of yogis. <laughs> we do that again. Both hands to the floor, both knees to the floor, come back to center. So bring your right foot out to the side. This foot is now going to stay here for the next two moves. So spiral your knee so you sit your bum back. Drop your knee down so it's beside your left knee. And now lengthen your left leg and bring your left hand to your hip. Okay, so pause here. Right hand is on the floor. Right knee is on the floor. Left foot's on the floor. And then lift your left foot off the floor and get super long and try and touch as far away from you as you can and then slide your foot as close to you as you can. So your leg is staying straight and you're just rocking away and then closer, away, closer. One more time, away and closer. Lengthen your left leg long, uh, le left arm long beside your ear and then let your arm float and your leg float and let yourself get super long through that whole left side of your body. Breathe into your belly. Let your neck be continuous with your spine. I'm not dropping my head down. My neck is strong and continuous with my spine. Super long. Lift your left foot a bit higher if you wish. And then foot to the floor, hand to the floor. Come back to center other side so roll your left foot out to the side okay so my foot is out to the side now sit your bum back so that your knee is at a 90 degree angle knees together lengthen your right leg bring your right hand to your right hip oh, this one might be too complicated but we'll see how you get on both hands to the floor spiral your left leg knees at a 90 degree angle sit your bum back knees together Leg long, hand to your hip, pause here. Float your foot off the floor. Get super long into that right leg and now touch the floor with your right toes and try and reach your toes as far as you can. And keeping your legs straight, bring your toes as close to you as you can. Long, close. What I'm loving about this is that I'm becoming aware of the range of possibility of where I could have my weight when I'm on my knee or where I could have my weight when my leg is straight. Nice, one more time. Lengthen long, lift your foot up. Lengthen your right arm long beside your ear, super long through your leg, super long through your foot, through your arm. Breathe into your belly. Lift your foot a bit higher. And all the way down, push back into your downward dog, all the way back. Legs are long. Knees are bending, legs are straightening. Knees are bending, legs are straightening. And then just bending one knee, bend the other knee. Feel like you're able to rock your pelvis from one side to the other side. Nice, cool. So come lie on your back. Come all the way down, lie on your back. So Reach your left arm long beside your ear. Bring your ankles together, your knees together, and then roll over onto your left side. Nice. So bring your right hand beside the side of your head or to the top of your head or behind your head. And then roll your right shoulder all the way to the floor 
And now kick your right leg up towards the ceiling. So my fingers are beside my head, more so than behind, because now they're really squished if they were behind. Okay, so my right leg is straight up towards the ceiling. And then bending your knee, come back, bring your right elbow down to the floor in front of you. Right arm behind you, kick your right leg up, stretch into that heel, lengthen long, and then bring your right elbow to the floor in front of your face, knees together. So just feel that. How do you kick your leg up and then bring your elbow to the floor in front of you? Kick your leg up. And then elbow to the floor in front of you. So now, see this moment here? This is going to change. So straighten your right leg long and reach your right leg as far back behind you as you can. So now I'm lengthening deeply into the right leg and it's back behind me. Now, either bend your knee, kick your leg up, lie on your back, and maybe bend your knee, stretch your leg long, elbow to the floor in front of you. So what you're doing is maybe you're swinging your leg up, you're lying on your back. You're swinging your leg backwards, elbow comes forward. So it's like this rolling, reaching pendulum. Leg is back behind you, elbow is forward. Leg is up towards the ceiling, lie on your back. One last time. Back and then up. So one variation so lower your right leg down reach it long and back behind you and now take your left hand and bring your two hands so that you're looking towards the top of your mat and then try and get taller when you're here and then reach with your left hand forward long and forward hands down or elbows down get taller lifting up through the chest a bit like looking down the beach and then reach your left arm long, touch the floor. One more time. Both hands to the floor or both elbows. Rise. And then reach with your left hand, roll all the way onto your back, straighten your legs and pause. Shimmy your body so you feel straight. It always takes a few moments. It's like the tornado of movement needs to settle. And then I go, oh, I need to move my shoulder. I need to move my hip I need to adjust my head. So let all of that settle. Let it land into your body. Nice. I'm going to come to the other side of my mat so that I'm not turning my back to you. Reach your arm long beside your right ear. And bring your ankles together, your knees together. Roll over onto your right side and bring your left fingers to the side of your ear. It's kind of like I'm just touching the side of my head. And now drop your left shoulder down to the floor, your left elbow to the floor, and kick your left leg up towards the ceiling. So as I do this, I really feel length through the belly, through the thighs, through the hips. And then roll and draw your left knee to the floor in front of you and bring your knees together. So in the beginning, we just start slowly. Lie on your back, elbow to the floor, left leg is up towards the ceiling. Knees together, elbow in front of your face. Lie on your back, elbow on the floor, left leg is up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees, bring them together, left elbow to the floor beside you. So now, Stretch into that left leg and move it as far back behind you as you can and counterweight that movement by reaching your elbow a little bit more forward. Now lie on your back. You can travel through a bending of the knee to lengthen your leg up or you can swing your leg straight back behind you, elbow to the floor and then straight up towards the ceiling, lie on your back. Behind you, elbow to the floor in front of you. Lie on your back, elbow forward. One last time. Back, elbow down, up, lie on your back. Okay, so come all the way to bring your left elbow to the floor in front of your face. 
and then lift your head and either bring both elbows or both hands to the floor and then lift and rise like you're looking down the beach and then lower down reach your right arm long and out touch the floor either elbows or hands to the floor lift lowering down lengthen your right arm long reach last one hands or elbows to the floor lift Lowering down, right arm long, and then come all the way to the floor. <laughs> nice. Reach your arms wide. Pause. Let all that settle. Nice. So lift your right foot off the floor and your knee is bent. Okay, so your knee is bent. Make sure your knee is bent, okay? But you're, it's kind of a soft bending. It's just there, up there, okay? And now drop that right thigh down to the floor and roll over onto your right shoulder because you follow it. And then roll onto your back and let your right leg travel back with you, okay? So they're two separate things. They're not traveling as a chunk. Your right leg goes first and then you roll over onto your shoulder Roll onto your back, feel the stretching of your inner thigh as you roll onto your back. Just feel that, you're on your back, your right thigh is still towards the right, and now you lift your right thigh up towards you. One more time. Right knee down to the side, let it drop, then roll over onto your shoulder. Lie on your back, feel the lengthening of the inner thigh because you've moved your torso away from the leg and just pause there. Arms are wide. Left foot is standing on the floor. Right knee is out towards the right. My la the right, left side of my back is off the floor. My left buttock is off the floor. And my right thigh is resting. And I'm drawing my left knee more and more towards the left. And I'm pushing down into the baby toe side of the left foot. And then I'm creating length from my pubic bone all the way up to the top of my head. My chin is slightly tucked in. My shoulders are widening at the back and I'm scooping my chest backwards. And then I'm dropping my belly backwards into my spine. It's like I'm pulling backwards through my centers. And baby toe side of the left foot even stronger into the floor. And right leg is staying, resting on the right side with your knee bent. Nice. Drop your left knee over and then just shimmy your right leg back and pause. I'm going to move a little bit to come back into alignment. Rocking, rolling my shoulders, pause. For me, it's always good to create some kind of movement because my body will find alignment if I rock or roll rather than moving into the other side because I'll have shifted and I've moved a little bit. My spine will be out of alignment. So lift your left foot off the floor, drop your left thigh down, and then roll over onto your left side. And then drop your left shoulder to the floor. Feel the inner thigh lengthening. Lift the left thigh up. Your foot is in the air when it's in space, okay? So drop your left thigh down, follow it with your shoulder, and drop your left shoulder back, follow it with your leg. Nice, one last time. Drop your left thigh down, follow it with your shoulder, and then drop your right shoulder back, and we're gonna pause here. So now push deeply into the baby toe side of the right foot, and then imagine that you can tuck your chin in, widen through the back of your shoulders, widen through the back of your pelvis, and the front of your body is sinking like quicksand towards the back. And your baby toe side of the right foot is really connecting, and your left thigh is staying on the floor. It's more my calf that's on the floor here now. Um, there's a different shape on this side for me, but it's in contact with the floor, and I'm maintaining that contact. Keep that sense of right knee moving to the right by pulling into the baby toe edge of your foot. 
scooping your centers backwards, breathing into your belly. Nice, come all the way back. Feet are as wide as your mat. So bring your feet as wide as your mat and then just rock your knees from side to side. Just let that move from one side to the other. Squeezing the top knee down towards the floor. Squeezing the top knee down towards the floor. So as I rock my knees over to the right, my left knee squeezes down. And as I rock my knees to the left, my right knee squeezes down. Nice. And then we're going to move into gliders. So drop your knees to the right and now slide the left foot. So our feet are wider apart than usual. So gliders is stronger. So if you're finding this too strong, then bring your feet back towards each other so they're hip distance apart. Or a little bit closer and find the edge of your potential and your movement. So as I reach backwards, I'm really trying to make sure that I land back, if this is what you're choosing to do, to the edge of your mat behind you. So as it slides backwards, I can feel this moment of stabilization through the abdominal muscles to get my foot back to the edge of my mat behind me. So just feel that. Gliders, and then this stabilization of my foot traveling back, and then gliders. So just feel that. Even lifting my foot up as I travel across, I can feel it through my abdominal muscles more. Another way around it is let your knees lift faster, and then you don't have to work on the weight of your leg traveling in gliders as fast, as much. <laughs> One more time. Super. Soles your feet together, knees apart, arms overhead. And just feel <clears throat> your chin is tucking in. The back of your body is sinking towards the floor. So how do I like really center my back on the floor and then pull my navel backwards and feel like the front of my body, the deep centers of my body are moving backwards. So I feel really magnetic. This is one of those moments where I feel stuck to the earth. And you know, we always think that we are upright on the planet. And you know, and that, oh, Australia is upside down. And But when you're in Australia, they think that we're upside down. So right now, imagine that you're stuck to the ceiling of the planet behind you. And that out in front of you is the vast universe. So pull yourself back more and more and more into the floor, into the ceiling, into the back of you. And just feel the vastness of space out in front of you. Galaxies upon galaxies. Universes of space. Clusters of stars, nebulae, black holes, solar systems, star systems. It's epic. It's so epic. If you have any of the images of the Hubble telegraph in your head, just think of them. You know, you stuck to the, to the planet here and out in front of you is the mega vastness of the universe. How epic, epic, so epic. <laughs> so straighten your legs out long and just come to pause, come to rest. That was really cool. <laughs> oh, I love it when ideas come or thoughts come or inspiration comes. Um, so have a great day, have a really awesome day. Um, I'll be here tomorrow for day 24. So that means that we have five days left of center. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really cool center. I've really, I felt like I really harnessed something in my center while doing this with you. Um, so be awesome.
be great be you and remember that there are star systems nebulae epic epic spaces out and around us so really fill into the spaces around you because there is space great ciao